and welcome to another edition of the Monday Minute. Oh, uh, my face is pretty low and far away. I'll start again. Hello, and welcome... Oh, wait, I'm way too close now. Hello, uh, uh, I'm cutting off my head. This distance is good, but I want my whole head in the picture. When you make videos for students, do you think about your physical presentation on screen? In episode 5, we explored some aspects of video production, but the focus was on presentation of content. Remember chunking and the use of body language to support the information being presented? This episode of the Monday Minute will focus on enhancing video quality using camera angle, body position, and lighting. You can follow these tips without using any editing software. If you'd like to learn more about video presentation or get feedback on a video you've created, feel free to stop by my Zoom hours every Wednesday from 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And by the way, did you know CUNY instructors are eligible for a free license of the Adobe Suite, including Adobe Premiere? If you'd like to get into video editing, contact IT at your CUNY campus to inquire about obtaining a license. Okay, let's review what has happened so far in this video. I'll focus on the visual elements. First, I was wearing a very loud shirt. Students could get distracted by the monkeys and toucans and cacti and miss the information being presented. Next, the first camera shot was a problem for three reasons. I was very low on the screen. I was tiny because the camera was far away and the camera angle made it so that I had to look up at the students. This last point is very important. Positioning the camera so that you are looking down on students asserts a level of dominance you may not want while having to look up creates an imbalanced power dynamic as well. Whenever possible, Keep the camera at eye level so that you and your students are viewing the screen from the same angle. That angle sends a message. Now let's consider my body position. In the first shot, I was too far and too low. In the second, I was way too close. And in the third, I cut off the top of my head, putting a portion of my body in the center of the screen that I did not want to be the focal point. For positioning yourself on screen, consider the rule of thirds. Chop the screen into three slices. Your body should be in the center portion of the screen, your eyes just above the top horizontal line. Another trick is to take three fingers and put them on the top of your head. If you do it right, then those fingers should match with the very top of your video. Background and lighting also make a difference. Both background and lighting can set the mood of a video, either calling too much attention away from or supporting your presentation. Notice how my sunflower banner frames one side of the screen. It adds character to the shot without being too distracting. Lighting likewise plays a role. I'm filming this in the morning and early afternoon on a sunny day with a large window in front of me. This is a great time to film as the natural sunlight coming in gives me a little glow and keeps the frame well lit. You don't want artificial lights to call too much attention to themselves or to give you an odd glow. Watch what happens if I turn on the lights behind me. See how this has changed the lighting of the frame? I look a little washed out and it's kind of distracting. Now let's try a different light source coming from my right. Notice how this light source only lights up half of my face. It gives me a sort of odd glow and the quality of the light bulb is maybe a little too intense. Now I've added one more light. This one is a little bit to my left, 
while my window is sort of straight ahead. So as you can see, this light is, um, you're not seeing the light itself, but it's a very soft bulb and it's not distracting from the whole picture. So if you do need to add more light, thinking about those angles can make a difference. Let's review what we've learned today. For a video angle, you want to look straight into the camera, not up or down. Use the rule of thirds to determine your body position or put three fingers on top of your head to decide where you should be in the screen. Consider a background and clothing that are not too distracting, but instead support your presentation and give a character. Aim to film near a window with natural lighting, but consider soft artificial light at angles that don't give you a weird glow or disrupt the visual presentation of the shot. I'll also add, you might notice that I have been looking straight into the camera when I'm speaking. I do have a script, but what I do is I put my script on my computer so that I'm reading the words while looking at the camera. This helps your video to feel more natural so that students don't even know you're reading a script, if you are. Before we end, I'd like to add one thing. While video quality is important, even more important is audio quality. If you plan to invest in just one piece of recording equipment, forget anything about visual presentation and get a good microphone. Computer mics are fine for recording, but if yours isn't doing the job, there are plenty of cheap options for external mics that can make a difference. I'm using a Zoom H6 for my audio. Um, just as an experiment, I'm going to turn this off and speak with my computer mic so you can hear the difference. Okay, now I'm speaking with my computer microphone. My computer's microphone is okay, but I think you can still hear a difference between the quality of when I was speaking in a mic, an external mic and through my computer. So just wanted to show you that. Uh, if you have a mic that's like my computer mic, then it might be fine, but always think about audio before video. Thank you and have a great day!